President Trump is waking up in Hawaii this morning. We've got some pictures from the president's Instagram account as he greets the locals wearing a lei. In a few hours, he'll be leaving Hawaii for a 13-day trip to Asia. He starts in Japan, then it's South Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines, all amid serious concerns about the threat of a nuclear North Korea. But domestic concerns will not evaporate just because the president is away. In fact, before leaving for this trip, the president slammed the Justice Department for not investigating Hillary Clinton and the Democrats. Critics say the president is trying to distract from the Russia investigation, including new questions about this meeting with a foreign policy advisor named George Papadopoulos, who's now cooperating with federal investigators. We have team coverage this morning, and we're going to start in Tokyo, where ABC's senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega is standing by. Cecilia, good morning to you. Hey guys, good morning to you. This is going to be a jam-packed trip for President Trump. It's his longest trip abroad since taking office. North Korea, of course, front and center, not to mention, as you say, all those controversies back at home. The first leg of the president's longest trip abroad kicked off in Hawaii, where President Trump and the First Lady were welcomed with lays. After meeting top military brass... I tell you, this is very special to be in Hawaii. The president made his first ever visit to Pearl Harbor. He and First Lady Melania Trump boarded a boat to the USS Arizona Memorial, where they laid a wreath and tossed white flower petals at the side of the sunken ship, honoring the more than 2,400 Americans who died in the attack. Before leaving the White House on Friday, the president announced he'll be abroad even longer than planned. His trip, now a 13-day run to five Asian countries. And I think we're going to have great success. We'll be talking about trade. We'll be talking about, obviously, North Korea. We'll be enlisting the help of a lot of people and countries. The threat of North Korea looms large, but the Russia investigation back home also has the potential to overshadow what's being called his most important foreign trip yet. This morning, the Trump administration faces lingering questions about this March 2016 campaign meeting where according to court filings, foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos told the group, including President Trump and now Attorney General Jeff Sessions, he had connections with Russia that could help arrange a meeting between Trump and Vladimir Putin. I don't remember much about that meeting. It was a very unimportant meeting, it took place a long time. Don't remember much about it. Despite the president telling me shortly after election day, did you or anyone in your campaign have any contact with Russia leading up to or during the campaign? Nothing at all. Asked if he stands by that now, he says this. All I can tell you is this. There was no collusion. There was no nothing. It's a disgrace, frankly, that they continue. And those questions are sure to follow him here. Now, this is going to be the longest trip to the region by any American president in 25 years. The White House says this demonstrates President Trump's commitment to this region. But I got to tell you guys, this is the front page that the Japanese are waking up to this morning. Ivanka Trump on the front page, not her father. She was here uh, days early to uh, kick off this diplomatic mission, guys. Overshadowing dad. All right, Cecilia, thank you. And let's bring in ABC News political consultant Matthew Dowd, who's in Austin, Texas, this morning. Uh, Matthew, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you. So given what we're learning about the president and Jeff Sessions allegedly being in the room when this foreign policy advisor offered to arrange a meeting with the Russians, how worried should Trump be as he travels to Asia? Well, he should be very worried. And it's, it's interesting to me, you have George Papadopoulos and then his Carter Page. It's like the island of misfit advisors that are surrounding Trump in all of this. I think it's very problematic. And I think going on this trip, to me, it's a funny thing to watch. Is, is he's, it's as if he's going from a high stakes Texas Hold'em tournament where all his chips are at risk. And he's going to take a break from that stress to do a high wire juggling act. And that's the problem he's in right now. He leaves one situation to go into an even probably more problematic situation than he is in Asia. He's got uh, crises all around him, no question about that. Let me ask you about something he said before taking off. Uh, he's been taking aim at his own Department of Justice for not investigating Hillary Clinton. Take a listen to what he told our John Carl. I don't know. I'm really not involved with the Justice Department. I'd like to let it run itself. But honestly, they should be looking at the Democrats they should be looking at Podesta and all of that dishonesty. They should be looking at a lot of things. And a lot of people are disappointed in the Justice Department, including me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. 
So that was an answer to a question from John Carl, who asked, uh, should Jeff Sessions, your attorney general, be fired? And the president said, I don't know. Not exactly a ringing endorsement. But I guess the question for you is, is Trump right that the DOJ should be looking at Hillary and the Democrats? Was there some sort of uh, law breaking here? Or do you think this is an effort to distract from the Russia story? This is, to this is total misdirection. I mean, he might as well be David Copperfield in Las Vegas, the what a level of misdirection he's doing in this. You look at all of the things he's talked about. There's nothing to the uranium story. That's all been debunked. This idea that Hillary campaign and her campaign colluded with Russia, that's been debunked. And now this thing with Donna Brazil and the DNC and everything. All of us know that both parties rigged the process in order to, to engage a certain kind of voters. But this is standard procedure in what the DNC did and the agreements they had with Hillary Clinton. It's a total misdirection in order to get the spotlight off Donald Trump and the investigations he has in order to try to direct it somewhere else. He'd be better off leaving the Justice Department and Bob Mueller alone, let them do their job, and basically open it up and be transparent about it. I didn't see David Copperfield coming this morning. Uh, Matt, thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. Great to be here. Really appreciate it.